Coach, obviously, he mentioned got a big matchup with App State. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't think you have beaten App State in your tenure here. Mm -hmm. um, so what would it mean to go on the road and get that first win against a team that's, you know, incredibly talented? And can you speak on just, you know, the challenges they present? Yeah, I mean, App State obviously is an NCAA tournament team. You know, they are one of the more mature teams in college basketball today. They return close to 90, 95 percent of um, their scoring, 99, 90 plus percent of their, uh, their players are returning. You know, so it's a very experienced group. So that alone is a challenge in itself. When you've got guys that have been together in today's uh, culture of college basketball, that is a huge advantage. Um, you know, playing them on their home court is obviously going to be, you know, an additional challenge to that. I'm looking forward to us being um, on the road, trying to see how we can take our next step um, against a team of that caliber. It's going to be great for us. Um, you know, they're very well coached. They play hard defensively. Uh, they shoot the ball well from the perimeter. They have very athletic guards and good size on the interior. And, um, you know, it's going to be something that's going to challenge our defense. But, again, as a coach, that's, that's what you want so you can see where you are and um, also try to get your first road victory. Hey, Coach. Uh, Allie was named uh, Freshman of the Week for the CUSA. Big accomplishment in his young career. So how do you feel that he's already kind of progressed into this role, you know, as, as a starter? And where do you see him going in the rest of the season? Yeah, I think Ali's uh, future is very bright here. The way that we play, I think, really fits him. Um, I think he plays a very unselfish brand of basketball. He's um, got tremendous basketball IQ. He actually makes players better, you know, at such a young age that that doesn't happen um, often. So I, I think that he's just starting to scratch the surface uh, at his size and at his skill set and, and his IQ, I think, are his biggest attributes. And um, I'm excited to, to, to watch him grow and continue to evolve and develop. You know, he's going to get he's got to get in better basketball shape, you know, and uh, um, and I, I think as he does that throughout the year, I think his play will increase and, and, and he'll be much more productive. Coach, can you comment on Robert Braswell's performance against USC Upstate and just, you know, the level that coming off the bench, you know, you don't expect guys to put up extraordinary numbers, but he seems to be doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, Robert's played in big games. You know, there's not a, a venue that we're going to go into where Robert is, is going to be overwhelmed. You know, when you come from, from the ACC, a school like Syracuse, um, you know, you've played in, in very big venues. So these moments for Braswell are, are normal. Uh, Robert is very skilled from the perimeter. He can shoot the ball. He's got good length and he's got good size. And we have confidence in his ability to shoot the ball. Um, we expect the performance that you saw to be what he is constantly, and that's why he was recruited to join our club. What are going to be some keys to the victory on um, Thursday or Wednesday for the um, App State game? Um, to keep the momentum going, going off these two wins. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the game on Thursday is going to be huge. And the, the biggest part is going to be our, our defense. Sincerely, our, our transition defense is going to be really important. Um, how we defend one-on-one, -on -one, how we guard the individual that, that you're matched up against. Um, like I said, they're very athletic on the perimeter. They, they can play off the dribble. They have three-level scorers, guys that can shoot the three, shoot the pull-up, and get to the basket. They have really good size. And they also rebound the ball very well. So um, for us, it's going to be a defensive challenge and is in a whole. You know, we're going to have to do our parts individually, but also do our part collectively to support one another. Um, but transition D, rebounding, and also just one-on-one -on -one defense, I think, are keys to us having an opportunity to have success on the road. Uh, Coach, kind of going off of that last question, you know, uh, the team had a really good start, won both games last week. Uh, so what takeaways um, do you have from those games? It can be good or bad. Uh, mm -hmm. but what do you think the team maybe needs to improve on, or what are things that they've done well that mm -hmm. you can continue to build uh, onto in the rest of the season? Yeah, I mean, the season is, is, is so early on. I mean, we're – constantly recognizing things that we need to improve on. You know, our transition defense is going to be a key. Our rebounding is going to be a key. Um, you know, at times, just the emotion of games, shot selections at the right time. You know, how to, like, you know, you mentioned earlier, you know, Robert hit a few shots. You know, how do we get him a few more without it being a coach making a, a call? Like, they have to recognize that this individual is hot right now. And, um, you know, playing, playing to our strengths. I think that, um, you know, down the stretch, we had a few 
turnovers that in you know, a few lapses that 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 challenged us. Um, but at the same time, they found a way to right the ship, and that to us is is very important. Um, but we'll just keep growing, and we'll watch the film. We always grow, we learn, and um, that's the only way that we approach it here. You know, kind of piggybacking off that, what does a 2-0 and start do for the team's morale and their, I guess, confidence, you know, knowing they're going through the process, doing things the right way, and it's resulting in wins? Oh, absolutely. I, in anything, man, you got to have success in order for you to, to develop confidence. It's hard to, you know, I'd rather teach a lesson, you know, after a win than I would after, after a, a different outcome. So, you know, for us to be 2-0 and, and um, you know, making some mistakes and still finding a way to win has been an opportunity for us to grow with, you know, saying, hey, if we do it, if we do it better, you know, um, we can perform better. So, you know, winning is, winning is very important, especially at this point in the year. Um, adversity is coming. You know, I always say you either are dealing with adversity or you're headed towards adversity in coaching. That, that's, that's all you have. And um, for us is making sure that we are as well prepared as, as we can be so that when that strikes, we can make an immediate change and not, let it, and not allow it to linger so that we can be the team that we want to be as we march forward. Uh, Coach, question for you about Marvin Cannon. Uh, last year, you, you mentioned it uh, multiple times, how you felt like he was really the spark plug for this team, mm -hmm. uh, and he can come up big, which he did on the defensive side of the ball, which he's done so far. Uh, what do you think his role will be for the rest mm -hmm. of the season, and uh, why do you think he's such a big part of this team to mm -hmm. help pick the team up when they're down? Yeah, Mar Marvin just has energy. You know, he's, um, he's so slithery defensively. He doesn't get screened. He moves well. Um, he's an unselfish, unselfish teammate, uh, doesn't take bad shots. I mean, he does a lot of things well. We just got to find a way for him to continue to inject us with that level of energy whenever, you know, he comes off the bench. Um, I think he's a guy that can be a lockdown defender on the ball. I think that um, his ability to run and slash and kind of make plays away you know, from offensive sets, just kind of breaking out and doing something on his own, I think are important for us. Uh, it's a big role for Marvin here. It's just got to find, you know, his rhythm and his timing and where that is. Um, but um, I do depend on, on Marvin um, becoming a big part of what we're doing here. Coach, can you just comment on uh, the challenge that App State's Adrian Delph will present you guys and the way that you're going to approach guarding him? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, for us, it's never one-on-one. -on -one. It's never one person. Um, we're not going to change what we do. You know, our system is our system. If you watch us play the last two games, that's exactly what we'll do the next, the next game. If you watch us play last season, it's going to be the same. You know, we're not going to reinvent ourselves for one game or another. Um, you know, it's never a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It is us versus the ball. It's not, it's not just him versus the individual that's going to guard him. Um, you know, we'll do our part in making sure that uh, we make him take contested shots and make it hard on him, just like um, we would do any other player on any other team. Coach, do you think having students and fans back in the um, stands helps the team to perform better and how they, like, receive the fans? And mm -hmm. is it, like, helping to in the performances? Absolutely. You know, um, playing in empty venues, to be, to be honest, is something that none of us had experienced before. You know, you've always had fans in the building, and um, that was something new to, to all of us. Uh, not having people in the building, the, the removal of that energy, whether it's on the road or at home, um, definitely impacts the game. So I, I can tell you 100% that our, our students are excited and thankful that we have fans in the buildings, that we're able to play in front of our fans, that we're able to go on the road and, you know, complete against, you know, a rowdy um, opponent crowd, et cetera. And um, that's the beauty of college basketball. You know, if we didn't want to play in, the, in these venues with fans, we would be playing YMCA basketball, I guess. So we are, we are excited that we have fans back in the building, of course. Uh, Coach, can you just speak on Clyde Trapp's uh, availability for Thursday? I know he went down pretty hard yeah. uh, last game. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I said I'm not a medical personnel. I, I, I trust our trainers. You know, we gave him um, the day off so he can uh, get in the training room and get some treatment. It wasn't that bad, but, you know, we also want him on the floor. Um, today he's going to get back on the court and see how much he can do and, you know, how he feels, um, whether he's going to be available or not. I won't be able to answer that until game day.
Uh, Coach, you know, coming into the season, uh, a lot of people have talked about the dynamic duo of Clyde Trapp and Jameer Young, and we've seen that so far. You know, Clyde was the leading scorer in the first game. Uh, Jameer had a little bit of a struggle. And then in the second game, Jameer had 25, and Clyde, uh, you know, went down with the injury. So how do you feel that these two are really sharing that role? And also, if one has an off night, one could pick up and then kind of interchange. Uh, so really, what are your thoughts on how they're sharing this role of, you know, being the leading scorer and leader for the team? No, absolutely. I think they are, you know, a great duo. Um, if Jameer Young, you know, having an off night equals, you know, 14 points and 10 rebounds, then that's a, that's a pretty good off night for, for us. I hope he can have that, you know, more often. Um, but, uh, you know, they do. They, they, they play off each other. But we also have other players in this team that have, have the ability to, you know, to have big performances. You know, I think Robert Braswell showed that. I think that Austin Butler showed that. I think that Ali Khalifa showed that. So, you know, yeah, those two are definitely a very good duo. But this is a team a team composed of individuals that are willing to come together, gel together, sacrifice of themselves for the betterment of the team. Um, those two are very talented, but we also have other players on this team that are talented also and um, can, can step up at any given night. Thanks, guys.